Games Fleshlings. I am Sentient Ashton, and today we are talking about something special. Today we will be discussing how to get Goss. For those of you Tenno scum who don't know what Goss is, he's that Warframe for those of you who've got to go fast. <laughs> Goss is farmed on Sedna, which is located on Kelpie. One of the last and final missions on Sedna. So if you are a low-level Tenno baby, then I'm afraid you can't get him. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm not. But Ashton, how do you farm him? If you are so desperately eager to get this Warframe, that's not all that great in my opinion. I will be making a review on him soon, but if you want to know how to get him, it's not as hard as most might think. Remember that horrendous game mode that the devs added just a little while ago called Disruption? Well, Kelpie is a new Disruption mission, isn't that great? And on the third rotation, which is referred to as Rotation C, you will have a chance to actually get him. Oh, what's that? You didn't get the reward on the third rotation? You might as well leave like the sad Tenno you are. <laughs> Don't do that, you scout! After Rotation C, every other reward will be a C Rotation Reward. Which means after you've completed a mission a total of three times, you will continue to receive a chance to get one of Goss's parts. Isn't that fantastic? So now that you know that, I shouldn't be seeing Tenno Worms squirming away out of the mission on a third rotation, right? Oh <laughs> yeah, but how you build them, noob? Well now, Tenno, you must be wondering how you can actually craft the Dawn Frame, right? For those of you who have made it to Sedna, you should already understand where to find the materials for Gauss. All of these materials are rare materials that you will find mining on the Orb Valis or Cetus in the plains of Eidolon, where the beautiful Terralis walks at night. By the way, when the Lotus tells you to run away from those creatures, don't. Please approach one and attack it with a melee weapon. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. That would be stupid. But I'm sure you're going to do it anyway, aren't you? Now, I'm sure you know how to find Argon Crystal, but just in case you do not, it is located in the Void. It is a rare material, so you're going to have to look around in these missions if you want to find it. Personally, I like to play the capture missions because they seem to be a little faster, and once I find at least one, I can end the mission quickly, unlike the defense missions or the dreaded extermination missions. It's very easy to just play through the mission, find what you're looking for, and end it as soon as you can. You only need one or two every once in a while, so it's probably a better idea just to play a quick mission and find what you're looking for and head out as soon as you possibly can. But you don't have to take my word for it, even if you are wrong. I don't care. Do you, boo? You Tenno Worms must be wondering why I brought Korra to a mission like this. Well, that's simple. It's because her first ability can do this. Every once in a while, an Argon Crystal will be in those, and you don't want to miss it. So it's a good idea to bring Korra, so she can just destroy those boxes in those little ball things up there, and you can get all of the rewards that are in them, instead of just a couple of them. Yes, it's cheap, and you should probably do this as fast as you can before DE decides to patch it. Once you have found your one Argon Crystal, you may proceed to crafting your Gauss. Why are you still Do here, here Tenno Scum? Go craft it! Hey guys, it's me, Wraith King! What are you doing here? Uh, I think they want to know how you actually farm the other materials for him too. Because there's a lot behind that, especially for newer players. So, uh, 
Ashton, how about you tell bye. them? I'll tell them. Just leave me alone. Oh, oh okay. All right, bye, guys. See you later. In the next video, bye. Well, enough, enough. Go away. Now, in order to obtain all of the resources here on Cetus, you need to reach a level of kin, which is the highest rank on the Arstrong. Unfortunately, this takes days and weeks even. And for the average flesh bag, it's going to take a very, very long time, and it's going to require a lot of patience, which I'm sure none of you really have. And unfortunately, the same goes for Fortuna. No, it is not a very high rank compared to the last one, but you'll still need to reach a very high rank in order to obtain the necessary materials needed to craft Goss. But for those of you who do not know how to farm material, I have brought along a friend to help- It's me guys, hi! To help us understand how to farm gems. You will need a mining tool, but don't worry, that doesn't require much farming. You'll be able to access this quite early in the game once you get to Fortuna, and there's actually one on Cetus as well. So that's good, but in order to you mine, need you need you, you need to point the laser thingy, and you'll see like this little circle, and you have to hit like these little uh, these little things. Y you saw them, right? You saw what I was talking about, right? Those little uh, those little marks on the screen. Please, Wraith King, let me do the talking, and you do the mining. Okay. All right. All, all right. All right, buddy. Well, in the meantime, I'll be talking to you guys a little more later. I'll be handing the mic to Ashton. Enough. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Give it yeah. to me. Bye, guys. Give it. Bye. Give it. Give it back. Okay. As I was saying before I was interrupted, it is a very simple task. All you need to do is find a cave. These caves are found all over the plains of Eidolon and the Orvalis. Now you can still farm the rare elements regardless of your ranking with the planet's faction. You just cannot buy the blueprints required to craft and refine the material. Oh, hey, oh, oh I think there's mind. gonna be a blue one nearby. Oh, I can feel it. There's gonna be a blue one. I get my fellow gamers. I know there it is. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, we're gonna get something rare off this. It's gonna be the one we need too. It's gonna be the one we need. Watch, watch, and I'm gonna get it perfect. Got it. Yeehoo! We struck gold. We struck gold, Ashton. Come on, dance with me. Dance with me. Let go of me, me. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Give me back the mic. Hey, guys. All right. I'll, t I'll talk to you guys later. Now that you understand how to actually farm Goss and get the materials necessary for him, I believe my job here is done. If you found my guide efficient, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Farewell and good day, Tenno. Oh, my God.